Hi everyone, it's Alicia with the Dockerty Dozen and this is my weekly grocery haul for my family of 13. But first, coffee. Here is this week's dinner menu that we made together as a family. We recently rearranged our dinner themes each night. Monday is still grilled griddle night. Tuesday is still taco Tuesday. Wednesday is now casserole night. Thursday is still crock pot night. Friday is still pizza night. Saturday is now salad night except for this week because we're going away, and Sunday is still pasta night. From there, I added in what we'll have for breakfast and lunch every day to make the grocery list separated out by areas of the store. And please tell me why I bought everybody their toothpaste last week and forgot to get mine. So we are at Walmart today, mostly because I have to get booster seats for Bodie and Harley. Bodie's seven, Harley is five. Here in New York, kids have to be in booster seats through age eight. So still need booster seats for them. They have booster seats. Uh, however, I'll get to that in a minute. <sighs> I want to get in and get shopping. It is 6, 12 a.m. So let's go. I got my bags. I consolidated them all last night because they were a hot mess. I'm gonna leave my coffee in the car. That's my second cup this morning. <laughs> go figure my days I can sleep in like Saturday and Sunday. I'm still up at 4 a.m. That's just, it's just my biological clock wakes me up at 4 a.m. So yeah, I've been up for a while. I think I'm the first person here. Squeaky. Sorry. Oh, also, I wrote this list during Make Your Own Pizza Night, so just excuse the pizza sauce on it. Cart one. So I need a new heating pad. Mine completely overheated and like singed my hand, so that's fun. Um, which one? I like the king size heating pad. Emperor? What's an emperor heating pad? Is that like bigger than a king size? Yes, it is. Yeah, we're going emperor heating pad. Actually, I think this is the one I had that like singed me, but I don't care. It's amazing. I just use it too much. I just used it out. Wow. I've been having a lot of like arm pain, shoulder pain. My doctor is suspecting I have carpal tunnel syndrome. I forgot to write it down, but she wants me to try a wrist brace and see if that alleviates the pain. So, oh my gosh, why are there so many wrist braces? What one do I get? Um, let's see if there's any like specifically for carpal tunnel. I don't know. She wants me to sleep with it on. Bead cushion, wrist rest. Oh, carpal tunnel. Yes, that's what we want. Left or right reversible. Okay. Let's try that one. Okay. Let's try this. Let's see if that helps. Let's, oh, I need a massage guard too. Would that be in this section or like a different section? Oh yeah, in this section, okay. Deep tissue, therapeutic massage, okay. Excellent, look at us getting everything off this list. I like the Arm and Hammer one. I 
that reminds me, Alex said he needed more soap. Uh, we'll go Fresh Falls. Also, now that I have bangs, I need a headband to keep them back while I do my makeup and stuff. I've been wearing Bree's sparkly green headband. <laughs> well, I don't really have many. Maybe I'll get that on Amazon. Oh, here's more. Toy section. The triplets friend's birthday is this weekend and we're gonna get him a present. We're gonna get him Legos. Of course their friend has like a zillion Lego sets. So I texted his parents. Oh yes! They said he wanted this one and then there's a Minecraft set. Let me see if they have that too. He wants the armory, animal sanctuary, um, deep dark battle, the frog house. That looks cool. I don't see the armory. Swamp adventure. Oh, there's more up here. Okay. Oh my gosh, yes. Awesome. It's good. When you get a kid something they want and like they don't have yet. All right, toiletries are done. Birthday present, check. Oh, mini blenders. I knew there was something I needed in kitchen. So Bree has been wanting to make smoothies again. We have like a big blender, but you know the the personal ones, so you can just make one smoothie. We had gotten rid of all of them when they were recalled for starting fires, and I just never replaced them. So, let's go see if we can find mini blenders. Might be in the, nope, there's big blenders, so let's look there. Does anyone else spend way too long deciding on things like this? I don't know. This looks simple. Includes a to-go lid. Let's try this one. Ooh, let's go get car seats next. Nope, I take that back. I gotta get the egg dye for the Easter eggs. Walked right past the Easter Easter section too. I like these ones that come with the cups. Kids don't have school Friday for Good Friday, so that'll give us something to do on their day off. And then they have the home next week off before spring break. Okay, I need a vacuum cleaner and windshield wiper fluid. Grab that on the way to the baby section for the car seats. Thistle. Eureka. I'm thinking the pet hair one. Yes. What's the difference? Turbo pet, rewind pet. Why? Why? What's the difference? Alright, that is $9 more. And the only difference is that it has a dusting brush. I guess we'll get this one. Um, the puppy hates the vacuum cleaner, like she's scared of it, and one day I took my eyes off her for a minute and she chewed the cord off it this week. Josh fixed it. 
I'll show you. Right, the windshield wiper fluid back here. These are cleaners. I just want windshield wiper fluid. What? Why are there so many different windshield wiper fluids? Really? Why do you do this to me? I, I don't know. Bug remover? I guess. Booster seat story time. <laughs> Actually, this is also a PSA to check your kids' booster seats and car seats because um, I took the van to Delta Sonic, had it deep cleaned. I was like, oh, I'll clean the booster seat covers. Took them off, discovered Bodie's, the styrofoam part was cracked. You can't use a car seat like that. I don't know how it happened. I don't know when it happened. Gotta get him a new car seat. Washed Harley's car seat covers. Putting hers back on her car seat. She accidentally slips and cracks her styrofoam piece. Yeah. So now we need two booster seats. But anyways, check your booster seats. Check your car seats. Make sure they're all intact and nothing's ripped or broken or anything. Now, I like the high back booster seats. Um... See. Like technically they could just use the bottom of the booster seat, like legally, but Odie's such a little peanut. I like him to have the backing to it around his head and Harley. Um, and it's got like the spot for the seat belt to be in the right position. So yeah. Alright, these are not the ones that I had last just kind of trying to, oh, there it is. Here we go. Is that it? No. Is this it? See, like, it can come apart and be just the bottom. I got that one for Quinn and Quinn. 40 up to 120 pounds. Good. Four years of age. Okay. Just making sure we meet the stats. Oh my gosh, she's gonna love it. It's red. I'm gonna put these both. Okay. Let's consolidate. Put this in my pocket. We'll go get another cart after this. Booster seats, check. Okay, we'll leave that up front and get another cart. Oh my gosh, those flowers look so pretty. Oh, look at those ones. Okay, stop getting sidetracked. Cute. Alright, I need a Greek Velveeta for a recipe. 
this week. Which I feel like should be with the Velveeta. Maybe not. Uh, hmm. That's weird. Don't they have like just the bricks? Okay, I guess not. Keep looking. I'm also going to Wegmans this week for the salmon on a plank because that's like a Wegmans specialty item. So, whatever I don't find here, I can grab at Wegmans later. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> it's on the next aisle end cap. Oh gosh, okay. remember how much I need for the recipe and this is one of those things that can just stay in your pantry for a while I'm doing taco pasta this week so I don't need um, taco shells I'm gonna get some salsa Dark red kidney beans, but that's for the cowboy stew. I need Rotel. I like the mild one. Wait, there's like one mild hiding there. Oh, there they are. This stuff's a little spicy. Oh yeah, that's a good song. Oh no, I thought it was Sail by AOL Nation. Never mind. Need Parmesan for the fettuccine Alfredo. Subs and make your own pizza night last week. Just get some regular ones too. to be honest, but you know what I mean. Like some higher end ramen noodles. All right, I'm not seeing what we like, so I might get that at Wegmans. Oh, and I need 
something to pack up for lunch. Oh wait, I also need elbows, stomach, I need cheese. I think that, yeah, okay, we're gonna make that for their lunch. Okay, I need dark red kidney beans for the cowboy stew. This is like the best dump recipe you will ever make. I'll have to vlog it this week. So easy. The hardest part is, well, not even hard. The most time consuming part is just chopping up the potatoes. Okay, so we got the sauce and I'm gonna get the real noodles when I go to Wegmans for the salmon. And we got the real toe. Gotta find Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Alright, I need corn for a bunch of recipes. Because the cowboy stew uses like three or four cans, depending on if I decide to triple or quadruple it. Worcestershire sauce would be around the barbecue A1 sauce. Yes, it is. Okay. It's like a random thing to run out of, but yes, we ran out of it. Oh, I should get some more croutons. The kids love croutons. Again, I'll use three to four cans for the one meal. Chicken broth and beef broth and various recipes this week. Keep that circle for our Wegmans trip. Let's get muffin mixes. What should we make this week? I still have that one I haven't made yet, so we'll make that. Look what they finally... Has this been hiding here the whole time? I've been looking for it. Like, here in the corner. Yes! I haven't found this for a while. Okay. Muffin mix. For Muffin Board Monday, we'll do Cinnabon, chocolate chocolate, 
and let's do blueberry. She wants a couple cereals. I think she's always in a cereal phase as I say that. Okay. Um, Fancy Sprinkles is in Walmart now? Kudos, Fancy Sprinkles. I love when like small little companies are then in stores. It's like you made it. You did it. That was not on my list, but we're almost out. You know what? Maybe we'll make pumpkin chocolate chip muffins. I haven't made those in a little while. Cups are in the cereal aisle. Okay. Muffin bits are in the bread aisle. I don't know where the pudding is in this. In the Walmart. Like the snack pack pudding cups. the vanilla and someone else will eat the chocolate so I get two of these jars of applesauce. Oh. Alright, Brie asked for Reese's Puffs and uh, what was the other one? Shoot. Oh my gosh, she'll love this one. Okay, Reese's Puffs and
If I'm wrong, we'll get it at Wegmans. Pastitos to go with the taco pasta. Muffin bites. My kids bag these for their snack at school, so. Jordan likes the birthday ones. Bodie has switched back to the chocolate chip ones with Bree and Patrick. I'm always trying to like calculate how many I need for a week. I'm gonna go to Costco next week and stock up on these. So this is just for this week. Next week, the kids don't have school. Like I said, I've been dealing with some arm issues. Um, and I know James will come with me to help because I cannot be lifting all the cases of bottled water. All right, let's grab the breads and buns and bagels and be done with this cart. Actually, I don't think I need buns this week. watched my morning routine you noticed the bread shelf is not there it fell and we didn't put it back up so the bread is in the garage pantry I don't love it there because I feel like the kids aren't like grabbing it as much so I'm not going through it as much you know the teenagers because they like to make sandwiches but the bread's just not like easily accessible. They have to walk all the way to the garage to get it now. It's tragic. Okay. Oh, Fritos. Fritos for the cowboy stew because it's just amazing. It's like a Frito dip. how much of what's left we can fit in the third cart. Start way in the back with the dairy. I didn't write it down, but I gotta get eggs because we're gonna dye Easter eggs. No, I think that book. I did write it down after, at the last minute.
over because they're going to get antibiotics. Well, actually, today is like the last day of antibiotics for us.
chicken in the bags. frozen stuff while we're in the frozen aisle and then we'll get one more cart for the produce. Don't need that much frozen because we didn't really eat. Like I had gotten a bunch of desserts and stuff last week that we didn't eat yet. The kids have been wanting vanilla ice cream. So we'll get that. tell who has me wrapped around their fingers. Oh my gosh. So fun. Okay. And then, some sausage links. 
Do we see mini pancakes yet? Do they not actually have a hungry jack here? That's the problem. Okay, so that's gonna be a Wegmans thing. Jason loves his hungry jack mini pancakes, and then I wanted to get breadsticks to go with the fettuccine Alfredo. one pizza. Let me see if I can find it. I got Wild Mike's pizza at Tops the other day. Judy Worth told me in a comment that he carried it, so I got it. Oh, I need Uncrustables too. Um, and I made it that same day. It was so good. Alright, you guys told me to try Screaming Sicilian. Although I don't see cheese. That's what most of my kids eat. There's pepperoni. Yeah. Darn it. All right, well, pizzas will be on our Wegmans list. Looks like we're doing a Wegmans mini haul this week. Oh, I gotta remember to get the Nutella and Crustables at Wegmans too.
almost like a
carts gathered up. Let's go check out. Okay, all checked out. Left the carts right there. I'm gonna drive up and load it in. There is my 15 passenger van. That is really clean from going to Delta Sonic. Did I break a nail already? Yep. Yep, I did. Don't even know how. I don't know. I give up on nails. I try and be fancy, but I'm just like too rough. Cleaning and shopping and like doing normal life stuff. exactly two hours which is really good it did end up being two receipts two transactions which usually happens at walmart i get clocked out around eight hundred dollars and then i have a couple hundred on a second receipt okay here is the first receipt $84.43 and then the short little second receipt was $247.19 which is plus I still gotta go to White Moons $1,031.62 which isn't bad considering I got a vacuum cleaner and two booster seats Anyways, that is it for today. Thank you for coming to Walmart with me. You are strong, you are beautiful, you are loved, you belong, and I'm so proud of you. I'll see you next time.